Hey, good morning. Welcome back to our devotional time. We're studying the Gospel of Luke, and this morning we're at Luke chapter 2 and verse 21. And when eight days were completed for the circumcision of the child, his name was called Jesus, the name given by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. Today, we're just going to look at this and just think for a minute about this name. His name, he was pre-named, he was decided that he would be named Jesus. Jesus, Jesus in Greek, Yeshua is the Hebrew for uh, Joshua, salvation, and his name is Jesus, called Jesus, the name given by the angel before his conception. Why would God name anybody or insist that he be named Jesus or Salvation, Mr. Salvation? Well, who else is there who's Mr. Salvation? There's not anybody. You can start with Muhammad and Buddha and all the other different kinds of people and gods you can think of, all the other different plans. All the other tombs are, are not empty. There's people in them. But here we find that Jesus, Jesus, who, of course, is going to die, be crucified on the cross as a sacrifice for the, for the offering for every single person, so that every person has the opportunity for eternal life. Jesus will be buried, and then he will rise from the dead, and then he will go back to heaven. So, of course, as the Christians say, as we say, his tomb is empty. Jesus was God, God who came down and took a human body. He was incarnate. That means he took a human body and became uh living in human flesh. He, he grew up from the tiny infant all the way to adulthood and lived his life. And of course, then he died on the cross. He died for your sins and mine. And, and upon him, the weight of all the sins of the world, Isaiah 53 tells us that he bore our sins. All we like sheep have gone astray, but the Lord has laid on him our iniquity with his stripes, with his, his woundings, with his punishment, the punishment that's inflicted on Jesus. You and I are healed. Why would we have this this, this single person, the only hybrid person there was, he was God before he came here. He was completely God, 100% God. He was completely man, completely human, just as human as we are, 100% as human as we are. The Bible says he took the seed of Abraham, the flesh, the humanity of Abraham. Well, what was Abraham? Was he before the fall affected everybody or after the fall affected everybody? Abraham was after the fall. So Jesus took a fallen kind of humanity very similar, very much like what we have, you and I, and in that humanity, he was struggled and had trials and temptations, and, and yet he overcame completely in that humanity. So, of course, he's called Jesus, Yeshua, Jesus. Of course, he's called salvation. That's who he is. That's the, that was why he came. He, he, he was born to die, and he came to give his life a sacrifice for you and I. In our text here, she conceives, and they call the child Jesus. All the world wonders about Jesus, but his name has spread from one end of the globe to the other because he didn't die for one man or just for Hebrew people or whatever. Jesus died so that every single person who wants to can give themselves to him and have their free will back and live for eternity. So yes, Jesus became Mr. Salvation, Captain of Salvation to all who believe on him. Well, let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, we thank you for Jesus. He came so helplessly as this tiny infant, subject to all the kinds of things that, that we are subject to. Thank you for the example that Jesus said. If he had come some other way, we would not have an example. Bless us and draw us close, we ask you in Jesus' name. Amen. Mary was the mother of the little infant Jesus who died for you and me. Something really powerful to think about today. God bless you today.